we decided not to do a lot of the boring stuff like removing the seats. Uh, all I have to do is take the bolts out and get them out of there. And uh, since we're not tearing all of the, the ceiling down, there's no sense in showing what I've done there. This is our new project. This is a 2012 E450 Ford with dual rear wheels. It's 22 feet long, all fiberglass body, five windows on the driver's side. It's not uh, your typical shuttle bus that you see on all of the YouTube videos. This is different in that it has no wheel wells inside, which makes it really nice. This, by the way, is the big shelf that was down the driver's side the full length of the bus. I've already removed the lift gate and I've crawled all over underneath of it and there's virtually no rust. The floor is solid as a rock. It's three quarter inch plywood. I'm not gonna do a thing to the floor except for one item. The height in the bus is about six foot four or five. So I'm going to add some foam insulation to the floor and put half inch plywood over it. As uh, probably you've seen or heard, uh, one of the coldest things in any type of RV is the floor. So you want to try to do your best to get uh, some insulation in the floor. We are going to utilize a lot of what is already in there. And I'm in the process right now of tracing wires. I'm going to utilize several of the lights that are in there also. And we're going to make this into our little motor home. We bought this a couple of months ago and uh, have started on it, but with the bad weather, it's kind of hard to do much. Obviously, we tore all the seats out. Um, I've redone a lot of the low voltage wiring. Today, I'm hooking up a door fob, hopefully. We'll see if it works or not. I'm about halfway done. There you can see a shower pan. Shower is gonna go right over here, just ahead of the handicap doors. This did have a handicap lift and we tore that out of course and as you see it still has the factory air conditioner it'll be great while we're going down the road that's for sure the condenser for the entire air conditioning system is located up on the roof This compartment up here is where all of the original wires junction. And it's a mass of wires. But I have pulled out a lot of the stuff we don't need, mostly the lighting stuff. And today I'm hooking up a key fob. We'll see if it works. We'll 
Neville came out to help me. Guess what? It worked. It really was quite a simple thing to hook up. Um, I decided to mount it up here just because there's so much moving apparatus over by the door. I, uh, if you see it says, I don't know if you can read it, it says uh, bifold open, bifold close. And then all I had to do was find a wire that's hot all the time, which was easy, and a negative of ground. So it was really very, very simple to hook up. And it works like a charm. That beeping was my meter. So now, tie the wires up and uh, I'll be done with that. Simple, simple. Really pleased the way it came out. I'll show you everything I used. So, we have some wires that we didn't choose. I'm gonna just cut them off. I'll leave a little pigtail just in case at some point. Uh, I want to wire something different. But the tan orange and an orange with a black stripe weren't used. The white wire with the black stripe went to the door open. White wire, plain white wire, went to the door closed. The red is the positive, and the black is the negative. The two yellows and the red go to the positive. The one yellow has a black stripe on it. I'm sure you can't see it and the other yellow. So you have the yellow, you have the yellow with the black stripe, and the red go to your positive battery. Now, as you can see, I hooked this up. So we're running off of the car battery, okay? Which is fine for now. I think when I get the lithium battery and the solar hooked up, I'll switch it over and run it off of the house battery. But it's simple. It's a band view unit. Comes in a little box. I bought it off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description when I do this video. So, there you go. More later. So, I came in the house so I can take my coat off and talk to you a little bit. Comes with a, two little fobs. And it works like excellent. Um, I tried it about I'd say a hundred feet away, and it worked. So it has good range, which is a good thing. I have the control box mounted. I mount it with double side sticky tape. And as you can see, maybe, maybe not, but I have the wires all dressed nice some wire ties on them, right there, and up here. And so, we're gonna...
call ahead. Basically a complete project for now. One thing I did do that I failed to mention was, you can see I hooked the wires back up here to the, uh, where it says bifold open, bifold close. I had them unhooked. And that way, I still can use the switch mounted on the dash. That takes care of that project. A um, little bit about the shuttle bus. It's uh, 2012 Ford E450. And the bus is made by, who's it made by? Diamond, maybe? It's uh, 22 feet long, total bumper to bumper. It's about 10 feet high. It has the uh, air conditioning unit up on the roof. And uh, we decided to leave it there because the condenser is uh, for the entire AC system is mounted up on the roof. So if you take the AC unit off, you have to add a condenser to the front of your radiator and a bunch of new piping and stuff. And maybe at a later date, we'll see how it goes. Maybe then we'll change it, but for now it's gonna be good, guaranteed. One thing nice, we have a completely flat floor. No wheel wells, which makes it easy to do a build. We're gonna do a queen size bed in the back, a shower, you may notice the shower pan leaning up against the back window in an earlier shot I took. Um, the shower is going to be 24 by 27. The 27 is going to extend out into the width of the bus. Uh, simply because in a shuttle bus, the walls are curved and they go like this towards the roof. The roof is about six foot three in the middle, maybe six four. I'm not going to do anything with the ceiling. The ceiling is in good shape. It has some insulation in it already. So I primed it and we painted it white. So we have a white ceiling. The floor, I'm going to put an inch, one inch of insulation on. You know, whatever the outside temperature is, is what the temperature of the floor is going to be. Therefore, if it's 20 degrees outside, the floor is going to become about 20 degrees. And all that cold air radiates into the bus, making it much more difficult to heat. So, we're doing that. Uh, we're going to put a sleeper sofa in it. We brought the sofa in here. Uh, that's Patty's idea. She wants to have a place in case the kids want to come and sleep. They can. We have a queen size bed in the back. I'm going to put as much electrical solar on the roof as I can, as much as I have room for. Right now it looks like about a thousand watts. I have a 300 amp hour 24 volt battery coming and uh, I have a 3000 watt low frequency inverter I'm going to put in. So that means you can run anything you want basically off of it. You can run a saw, uh, an air compressor, you know, if you need it for some reason. And we're also doing a 110 volt refrigerator, which will run off of the soil. The walls, I'm going to insulate part of it. Part of it, I'm not. 
between the windows, I'm not going to insulate it. I don't see any point. There's only like that much space, six inches between the windows. Anything that covers a window, like a closet in the shower, that's going to get insulated. So that's the basic idea. I have a 15 gallon tank I'm mounting underneath for gray water. Well, it's pretty hard to see, but here's the holding tank. This will be the drain for the holding tank. I have to rig something up to uh, make that work. We're going to put a cassette toilet in it. So that'll take care of the number one and the poo if we have an emergency. Uh, curtains, Patty will probably sew herself. We'll find something we like maybe or just find some material and sew some curtains. So, this is the first video and uh, hopefully you'll get to see a lot more. We decided not to do a lot of the boring stuff like removing the seats. Well, all I have to do is take the bolts out and get them out of there. And uh, since we're not tearing all of the roof down, the ceiling down, there's no sense in showing what I've done there. Anybody can run a paint roller. Uh, but we'll be doing more videos. I'm going to start the build. I'm going to start the floor this week. Today is Thursday, the 31st of March. Tomorrow is April Fool's Day, so like a fool, I'm going to start work. That's it for now.